That's a great song, and this is a great bento. We have a bento bug made out of sausage, cute tomatoes, octopus from sausages, and all kind of accoutrements on your salad. Here we have a two compartment bento tray. There's many different styles. This one has a handy lid. Now we're going to turn this happy face into cucumber faces. So let's go ahead and cut the end of the carrot into four thin slices, which will be our eyes. We will use a little bit of green onion or scallion, and that'll be the wonderful smiles. Now we're going to make our tomatoes into cute little faces also. We have the tomatoes, we have some Swiss cheese, a little bit of ranch dressing, an applicator, and then a little straw that will make the eyes. We go ahead and pull out a tomato. Oh, that one's got some hair on top. Okay, we cut off the end of a straw and we will go ahead and use it to make the eyes. Using a cute applicator, we will dip it into the ranch dressing and apply it to the tomato. Don't have to use ranch dressing, that's just the dressing we're going to use on the salad. So therefore the flavor profile will not be altered. You go ahead and glue on the eyes, put it down, there you go, and finish with the rest of the tomatoes. Now we're going to make the head of our cute little sausage bug. Take a sharp paring knife, be very careful not to cut yourself. As you make your cut, rotate the tomato, not the knife. Now we're using a knife at a 45 degree angle as we cut into the tomato. And then we'll pull off the top piece and watch out for the core inside the tomato. You might have to go around the tomato a couple more times to get out the core and the seeds and all that little juice. I like to shake some of the seeds and juice out. At this point I needed to widen it slightly and also help get rid of some of the extra seeds and juice in that little tomato. Sometimes you gotta bang a gong to get the seeds out. And there you have it, a cute little tomato head for your sausage. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and cook up some Spam. I like the 25% less sodium Spam to cut down on 25% less sodium. Here we have some sausages. There's a couple different varieties. I'm not advocating any one over the other. The Vienna ones are a little softer. Sometimes they be too hard to work with because they're so soft. But you do have to dry them. And here I went ahead and sped that up a little bit. We all know how to dry our sausage. And now we're going to go ahead and cut this sausage into a little octopus about a third of the way down from the end. You make a slit and then you rotate your sausage and make another cut all the way through. Rotate the sausage again and eventually you'll have eight legs and therefore the octopus. This little sausage is going to turn into our bug, kind of like a fly, but just a cute little bug indeed. So now we're going to cut the wings. We cut them at about a 30 degree angle, not too deep, just want them to pop up just slightly. And let's go ahead and do it again so you can get a better view. You're just slightly going in just under the, the casing or the skin, and you'll see it just the little flaps right there. I love the sound of that sizzle. Now we're going to put our sausages in. Give them a quick roll around to pick up some of the extra Spam juice and Pam spray. And here we are just constantly rotating the sausages so they brown evenly. And we're going to go ahead and flip our Spam. These were cut rather thin so they were a little difficult to flip. I should have used a little bit of tongs, but I got them. And again, rotate your sausages so that they brown evenly. Okay, the spam was done, so we're going to go ahead and remove it and put it on a plate and continue cooking the sausages. Now's a perfect time to add in the octopus sausages. Again, roll them around so they get fully coated. As you can see, these are the octopus sausages. And just let them cook and brown evenly also. Continue to rotate. Our bug sausages are done. Oh, they're looking good. So we're going to go ahead and remove them. And now we'll remove our octopus sausages. Okay, here we're ready to assemble. I added some rice with some sprinkles of black sesame seeds with our salad and now we're going to go ahead and cut using a little cutter, a little flour cutter to cut the Spam to make the Spam flowers. Uh, sometimes the cutter doesn't go through all the way so you have to help and kind of peel it out. Sometimes you need a knife to cut through it. But that's how you do it and we'll make another one. Now we have a smaller cutter of a little flour that we're going to use for the center. I have some cheddar cheese and we'll just pop that out. Use your straw or any other little tool that you have. Pop it out of there and there you go. That's a nice pretty flour and we'll go ahead and continue making them with the rest of the Spam slices. Now we'll continue assembling the salad portion of the bento. 
Here we have our cucumber smiling faces. Yeah, they kind of look like aliens, so we'll have to remember that for an upcoming video. We'll add our tomatoes. Oh, they're looking good. You could also add a little smile on the tomatoes if you prefer. I like to, to keep mine simple. And my favorite one, yeah, the one with hair. I wish I had that much hair. And then we'll go ahead and put in our flowers. Just scatter them about so they look nice and neat and orderly. Now we'll start working on our sausage. Here's one of the octopus sausages. We'll just lay that in the corner. And here's the one to make the bug. That's the fly body or thorax. And now we'll take some of the ranch dressing and decorate the octopus. Let's give him a cute little smile. Because he's happy to be in our bento. And for the fly, you can see that it has the wings raised right there and it fits right into the tomato head. So let's go ahead and poke a couple of holes in the head, which will be for the antennae. And then take some of the carrot shards. Those little slivers will fit right in there. Sometimes they take a little push and if the carrots uh, not as hard, sometimes they get a little soft from sitting out. And then I like to take the same tool and poke some holes into the sausage. You could put two per side, three per side, four per side if you want to make a spider. The sausage seemed a little soft, so I didn't want to overdo it and put too many of these in, so I'm just going to go with four total. And then when that's assembled, you just pop on the little head and place it right there into your bento where you want it. Put this one right next to a couple of flowers. And we'll go ahead and decorate it with some ranch. Add a little smile. Now we could have also used some of those carrot slivers and glued them on. That's your preference. Right, clean it up a little bit, and there we have. That is a good looking bento right there. Okay, I'm gonna turn this smile into a happy bento smile. So I'm going to keep these. Okay, let's see how well this works. Okay, that doesn't work at all.
money under another 